now we will uh, create a connection board and a data source to be able to use the connection boards in our work and uh, uh, web services and uh, the business process by itself mainly we will use them in, in our code uh, to create uh, this uh, issue uh, or this thing uh, we have to go to the WebLogic uh, console as we explained in the previous presentation here we have a uh, JDBC we need to create first uh, connection board then after that we will create a data source and assign this data source to the connection board created here so let's go and create a new connection board we click here configure new uh, connection uh, JDBC connection board here we can see our uh, previous connection boards we already did we can click on them and uh, change uh, the configuration here we select the database uh, we want to, co to connect to uh, on our example we will use Oracle and we uh, prefer to use this one in our uh, project or in our example uh, it's a thin uh, configuration uh, with the management of the transaction no need to care about that here we select the name for our connection board let's name it uh, process uh, one uh, board uh, now here this information we're gonna fill in, in these fields must be verified with the setup we did in our uh, oracle uh, installation this is the SID name the oracle the database name ORCL as it's in my machine the host name if we are connecting to server we put uh, the server IP address or the name here I will put uh, localhost the port the default one I have it in, in my machine the same the username I'm uh, going to use I will use Scott and uh, the password is uh, tiger I will confirm it as required continue now this is the configuration to be confirmed uh, this is the URL will be used uh, as we felt in the previous here we'll say this the drive configuration everything is going well create and deploy create and deploy this is a concept for uh, servers we have to deploy this uh, configuration on, uh, on our server to be able to use it now we have the connection board we can see uh, our connection board here we created it now we need to go to create a data source uh, for uh, this connection board to be able to use it in the workshop let's go here we create a data source click on this uh, link here also we can see the previous uh, data source is created with, uh, and, and the newer version of uh, Oblogic this is uh, done in one step but in this version we have to, put, to do it in uh, two steps data source and connection board here we name our uh, data source Uh, the GNDI this is in, uh, the name that really will be used uh, for uh, the communication uh, uh, for looking up for uh, the connection uh, the server okay we will use the same one but uh, uh, okay the source will use the same now we assign this data source will be based on uh, which connection board we already created this connection board we select our connection board and continue here we have uh, the server we need to deploy uh, create and deploy this uh, to it uh, this is an, on the server side we are finished from the server side we are going to go now to the WebLogic workshop here on the control side we click on add database we select uh, create a new data source control we name it uh, say ts1 data source 1 normally we create a uh, uh, fully name uh, rich full name meaningful name here ok this one uh, for pp1 and here we select from which data source we'll find here our data source we already created we select 
create okay now we already have a connection for the or a connection for us to the database and we're going to care about how the management is done by, by the server we now can use this connection in our application which we will see in the uh, next presentation how we can use this in uh, web services or whatever whenever we need to access this uh, uh, the database uh, that's this connection or data source is pointing to it